Hey, what's up guys? Jed here. Have you ever wondered why you're not losing weight even though you're doing intermittent fasting? If so, then you're in the right place because in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top five mistakes that people make when intermittent fasting. So if you're curious about that, make sure you stick around. All right, let's get right into it. So mistake number one, you're probably still eating too much. One of the main reasons that people decide to do intermittent fasting is to lose weight. But the problem is they still eat like they did before, just now in a specific eating window. When you do that, then what's the point, right? So you gotta make sure that you're eating less calories than you normally would so that intermittent fasting will work. And if you don't know how many calories you need in order to lose weight, be sure to check out the first link in the description below. Mistake number two, you're not eating the right foods. I know I always say you can eat whatever you want when intermittent fasting, which is true, but you still need to be making good, healthy choices. You have to be eating more whole foods instead of junk foods. Why? because whole foods actually keep you feeling fuller throughout the day. Whereas if you ate junk foods, that's just going to want to make you eat more. At the same time, you can still have the junk foods that you like. You just have to be smart about it. If you needed 1500 calories to lose weight and are currently sitting at 1200 for the day, another 140 calories from a bag of chips or maybe even from a chocolate bar isn't going to hurt you. Let's just say that the difference between one bag of chips compared to 10 bags of chips is pretty noticeable. So be smart about your food choices. Mistake number three, not drinking enough water. Doesn't seem like much, but water is super important, especially when intermittent fasting. Have you ever had a meal and then about after an hour or so felt hungry again? Well, guess what? There's a good chance you're not really hungry. You're just thirsty. So the next time you think you feel hungry, even after you just ate, try to have a glass or two of water. Mistake number four, quitting too soon. I know a lot of people who quit after just a week or two just because they weren't able to see results or even after accidentally eating something during their fasting window. One thing you need to understand is that losing weight takes time. Sure, intermittent fasting can speed things up, but regardless, it still requires a bit of time and patience. I did intermittent fasting recently for about a month and I got results. To some, it might not seem like much, but to others, it looks like a lot. Here's what I looked like when I did intermittent fasting for a month recently. And here's what I looked like when I did intermittent fasting a couple years ago for about six months. The point is, losing weight doesn't happen overnight. You have to learn to enjoy the journey. Don't rush. Also guys, if you make the mistake of eating during your fasting window or anything along those lines, just know that it's such a small thing. Yes, it does mess you up that day, but move on from it and continue the next day. Don't beat yourself up about it. Mistake number five, starting too soon. People come across intermittent fasting and then as soon as they read a couple of tips and watched a couple of videos on YouTube and then eventually quit because it was too hard. This happens because you weren't physically and mentally prepared for it. So what you gotta do is slowly work your way into it. If you chose to follow 16-8 for example, you're gonna need to train your body first. So take a look at what an average day of eating looks like for you and say you started eating at 8 a.m. and stopped at 8 p.m. that's 12 hours of fasting until the next day. So try increasing the hours little by little each day. So if you didn't eat for 12 hours, try 12 hours and 30 minutes next time and then 13 hours and then 14 hours and so on until you're able to do a full 16 hour fast. So there you have it guys. Those are my top five mistakes that people make when intermittent fasting. And if you want to learn more about intermittent fasting, make sure to check out my last video where I talked about how to start intermittent fasting, which will also be linked in the description. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing if you haven't already and tap that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos on intermittent fasting. Also, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below letting me know which mistake you made. And with that said, I will see you guys next time.